Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie, welcome. So happy Halloween season to all of you guys, finally coming through with a little bit of Halloween content here on my channel. So today I'm gonna be transforming myself into Velma and also transforming Hershey into Scooby-Doo. I'm really excited. I actually thought about this idea like months ago, so I've literally had my costume, my outfit, just sitting down, ready and waiting for this moment. So not only do I have a costume, but I am gonna be switching up this hair color once again, and also getting into a little bit of very very light makeup so if you guys are interested in seeing exactly how this transformation is gonna go just continue to watch all right so the first thing that we gotta do is get the Velma hair color going she has like a reddish orangish kind of hair color so you guys have seen me use the curl smith hair color in Ruby so today I'm actually gonna be mixing it a little bit with copper because I don't think she's hundred percent orange but she's also not 100% red, so I feel like we might get the perfect color by mixing them. I'm also really, really curious to see how it kind of comes out and how it looks. So let's go ahead and dig in. So I'm just starting off with freshly washed hair and there's like zero product in it now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and section it so we can get to this hair color. So I'm just starting by wetting the section. Y'all already know what the deal is. I like for my sections to be nice and soaking wet when I'm styling my wash and goes. And then for leave-in conditioner, I'm using the Curlsmith Weightless Air Dry Cream. I love this stuff. It is just so juicy, lightweight, but still very effective. So last time when I did use Ruby, if you guys didn't see that video, I'll link it up here and in the description box below so you can check it out. But when I did style with Ruby, I used mousse and then I used the hair color as the gel on top. But today I'm literally just gonna use this leave-in conditioner and then straight on top of it with the gel. I'm curious to kind of see if that makes any kind of difference in terms of color payoff. Ah, okay, it's time. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I always get so excited when I whip out these hair colors because, wow. I definitely wanna do a whole entire just pure copper look as well. This is just, I mean, I just know this is gonna be a vibe. So you guys can stay tuned for that video as well. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is actually just kind of squirt equal parts red and equal parts copper. Let me just mix it around in my hands to see what kind of color we get. Oh, this is really golden looking. So this is the kind of color we've got. Does this look Velma-ish? Is this too orange? I don't know. Let me add, let me add like a teensers more red because I feel like Maybe slightly more red than actual orange. There we go. That is like a nice bronzy looking reddish orange. I think this is perfect. Let's go ahead and apply. I definitely have to use a lot of this to get like a super nice like bright color. So I don't want it to look dull at all because Velma's hair is not dull. It is bright. It is out there. So that is what I'm aiming for. Yeah, so you see this? That's what I'm aiming for. I feel like the red is kind of taking over, but we'll have to see exactly how it dries to really get like the full feel. But so far so good, I think. I think I'm just gonna add one more layer, just like last time, I just, I went in with this stuff because again, like I said, I want that bright color payoff. I want it to be boom in your face. I think I'm going to try slightly smaller sections so we can kind of get more intense color payoff in smaller sections of hair. Yes, I think the smaller sections are gonna give me the brightness that I want. All right, I'm putting a big glob in this section because the front, if anywhere needs to be super bright, is gonna be the front. So we're gonna put a little extra work right here. Yes, okay, Velma's coming alive. I can see it happening. slightly less dark roots like I kind of want the entire head of hair to be red because Velma don't have no dark roots she just she just red all the way through so I'm gonna try and attack some of these roots here like I am just going in with this ah! oh no 
Oh my god. A splatter got in my eye. Ooh, that is not okay. I'm about to have like red eyelashes. Okay, we're good. False alarm. It actually didn't sting or anything, surprisingly. Whew, we're good. Oh my gosh, look at all this black that's left here. Let me slap some color on that too. Boom. All right, so step one is half complete. I gotta wait for this to dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse it off camera, and then I'll meet you guys back in the studio for step two, which is going to be makeup. All right, I'm back. The hair is dry. Let me actually come a little bit closer so you guys can see an idea of the color. You see, it looks like the red, but it's still got that like dash of copper in it. I'm actually really, really loving how the color came out. By the way, yes, it does look weird because I do have a headband in. I'm just trying to keep my bangs out of my face while we get into this makeup for this Velma look. So the reason why I actually kind of picked Velma is because she is Miss Simple and it's going to be such a quick and easy, simple costume to do but still be effective and like super, super cute. So. Let's jump into this. I'm just gonna start by priming my skin. So I'm just using the Fenty Soft Matte Primer on my skin. I already did my eyebrows off camera, so we're just diving straight into complexion. All right, so like I was saying, Miss Velma is au naturel, okay? She don't wear full glam. She wears like as much as her real skin as possible. So I'm gonna use a very lightweight foundation. This one is actually a brand new foundation by Kajir Weiss. I honestly am not 100% sure how to say this brand name, but I'll link it in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. This is my first time ever using this foundation, so we're about to see how it does. I do understand that it is supposed to be lightweight, so that's really why I'm reaching for this. The shade that they sent me is D310. Oh my gosh, I hope that I hope that this shade works for me. Ooh, it looks a little bit light already i feel like this is a little bit light your girl came back from vacation tan okay honey but we'll just we can correct that with bronzer in a little bit usually watery foundations that come in like a dropper bottle are kind of like super watery and super like really really thin but as i'm like pressing this into my skin i don't know if you guys can see the magic happening but it's just like i don't know it's like a liquid to cream kind of feeling it's nice, I'm liking it. Okay, first impression. So far, so good. Let's move on to the next thing. All right, so I was considering not going in with any concealer, but I feel like I just, I can't do it. So I'm gonna use concealer to highlight underneath my eyes, but I'm not gonna use a lot. And I'm also not gonna use one that is too super bright. I'm actually gonna use one that's pretty close to my skin tone. So this is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Hydrating Camel Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. So I'm just going in with just a teenser. It's just because I feel like I can't do a full face without without concealer, even though it's not like, you know, it's not a full bead, it's not like crazy glam, it's none of that, but I still, I just can't skip this step. I just, it's just not in me. Now I'm gonna go in and set with my number one favorite setting powder, which is my Laura Mercier in the shade Honey. I'm gonna dab it on in here. All right, super quick and easy complexion base. We are already basically halfway done, which is another reason why I just love me Miss Velma. Now I'm just reaching for some bronzer. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the shade number 310. Best bronzer ever, honestly. I just love this so much. And again, not going in too crazy. I just trying to add a little bit of warmth back to the skin since we use that foundation that was a little bit light, you know, this is gonna help us. It's gonna help us not have like that white ghost face look. I know it's Halloween, but that ain't never cute. Do you see it happening? A little bit of the warmth, teensy bit of dimension. I feel like you guys are about to be amazed to see how quick and easy and simple, but effective this Halloween costume is about to be. Even better if you have a fully brown dog like I have. Oh my gosh, Hershey's like dressed as Scooby year round, she was born that way. You know, she was born for this role and it's just gonna be so cute, I cannot wait. All right, so it's coming along and I'm just loving, I'm loving it. I'm feeling you, Velma, because I am pretty much a very simple au naturel girl too. So 
The next thing that I want to do is some cream blush and that's it. I'm not even going to do highlighter. We're not doing lashes, we're not doing eyeshadow because Miss Velma didn't get into any of that. So I want to try out this new cream blush by Kajir Waist. The same brand is the foundation that we used. They have this really cool cream blush. Check this packaging out. Check it out. Boom! Yeah, you can see where my finger swatched it. <laughs> I was really excited when I saw this because this color just looks oof, oof, delicious. Okay, so I'm going in with my Fenty brush. What do they call this brush? It's their 125 face brush. And I'm just gonna dip it in here and use it to apply this cream blush. Again, not gonna go too bright or crazy. Ooh, this is a pretty, oh, this is such a pretty color. And I also am loving the formulation so far of this cream blush. Cute! So I'm not gonna do any highlighter. The reason why I wanted to actually use a cream blush is because it's gonna give us a little bit of a cute do without like an intense, crazy kind of highlight. All right, we're literally almost done. I'm just loving this Halloween costume so much because it's so simple. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly set my face. I have actually just tried, let me put the cap back on so it can look nice and cute. This Becca Skin Love setting mist and it is literally so freaking good. So it's a glow shield prime and set mist. So you can prime with it as well. And I just bought this off of a whim in Cayman and honestly, I really like it. All right, look at us. I just, I'm loving this look, honestly. Okay, so we only have two more steps left and then we're already done. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put on a little bit of mascara. The mascara that I'm using is the Man Eater Mascara by Tarte. It is my ultimate favorite. You know what, I'm actually gonna also use mascara on my bottom lashes, but I'm gonna dip into a different mascara for that. So I'm gonna be grabbing my Huda Beauty mascara for this. Y'all, this is really, really good. If there's gonna be another mascara that I love just as much as my Man Eater, it's gonna be this one. It has two sides. There's curl and length, and then there's volume. I'm going to use the volume side for my bottom lashes. Boom. All right, for the last step, now we're just gonna do something really simple and natural looking on the lips. So I'm gonna go for my favorite, 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 favorite lip combo ever. So first we're gonna go in and line our lips with the Bare Minerals Attitude Lip Liner. This is the most beautiful brown, but it's not just like a regular kind of brown. This is actually the actual brown of my natural lip color. It's crazy how good it looks. All right, so I filled in majority of my lip with this, but kind of left in a little bit of my natural pink lip in the middle here. So that all we gotta do now is go on top of this with some gloss. Today, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. Beautiful, looking like her natural lips with a little bit of chapstick on, you know what I mean? It's just kind of chill, natural, but still kind of effective. So that's it, that's literally it for the face. Already my favorite Halloween costume ever. So let me go ahead and take out this headband so we can go ahead and kind of fluff this hair out and get it looking right. What do y'all think about this color? It's like not, I feel like it's not as loud as the red by itself. I feel like the copper kind of toned down the red and almost like toned down the color in general. And I'm kind of liking the vibe. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is flaking all over the place. All right, so now you can see we have a little problem with my bangs. This is usually my issue on day one. Usually my day two bangs have shrunken up a little bit more and then we don't have the issue with it being in front of my eyes. But to fix that on actual day one, I'm just gonna go in with a pick. I'm gonna stick it like this and just rise them up. All right, boom! So hair done, makeup done. Now the very last step is to put together the entire outfit, which is really gonna bring this look all the way together. I found the most perfect pieces. I didn't go on and just purchase a random Velma costume. Like, I searched for my orange sweater, searched for the skirt, and I literally found the perfect pieces ever. Here we go. Okay, so first I bought the cutest cropped, but like balloon sleeve, orange sweater that is this is 
Velma, okay? And the thing I like about it is that it's actually a sweater that I would wear not on Halloween, you know? I would definitely wear this again so you don't feel like you're wasting money on a Halloween costume that you're gonna wear for one night just for a few hours and then boom, you throw it away and that's it, you know? This is definitely something that's re-wearable in normal life, so I love this. Pick this up at ASOS, made sure to find something with a turtleneck because I feel like Velma's infamous for that turtleneck, okay? Then I also found the perfect skirt! I was so impressed by this when it arrived. This is actually straight from Amazon, okay? I believe this may have been like a youth, like, school skirt or something, but it is like... Tell me how perfect! So yeah, I'm just looking at the sizing, definitely use sizing. I bought this in a large. I literally don't even know if I could wear it out if I were to go to like an actual Halloween party unless I wore spandex underneath because I will sneeze and my butt will show. Y'all about to see in a second, but yeah, this is great. And then of course, we've got some knee-high socks. I think these may have been from Amazon as well. And then, talk about the perfect ugly Velma shoes. Uh, yeah, I found these at H&M. They were literally on sale for $13.99, and I was like, wow, what a steal. These are literally so perfect for Velma. So yeah, let me go ahead and put this costume on. Boom! I feel like the look is already coming together. I mean, just even with just the orange sweater. Whew. Oh my gosh! Oh, and you know what else is going to be so super perfect for this outfit? My glasses! And guess what? They just happen to be the perfect color. I feel like this is my best Halloween costume yet. Let me just clean these off. Are you ready? Are you ready for the Velma? Are you ready? Jinkies! <laughs> I am Velma AF right now. I'm sorry, but Velma got a glow up. Hello? Bruh, this is so perfect. Before I show you my whole fit, let me show you the little outfit that I got for Hershey for Scooby-Doo. It's minimalist as well. Da -da -da! This is it. Isn't this so cute? I'll link these in the description box below as well. But I just got her a collar and then I ordered this for her to be Scooby. She's already brown, so you know, I, I'm not about subjecting my dog to costumes that I know she's gonna hate. So a collar is perfect. I knew she'd be just fine with this. Come, Hirsch. Come, baby. Ooh, Scooby loves this Velma. All right, let me put this on you. You can't eat it. Where are you going? Look at her. Ta -ta -da! <laughs> All right, we're ready to go, y'all. Let me go ahead and show you guys a full, like, the full look. Jinkies! Velma done got a glow up. I cannot even deal with my own self right now. It's Hershey Doo! It's Hershey Doo! It's Hershey Doo! So yeah guys, that is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you're gonna go ahead and recreate this costume for Halloween, please make sure that you tag me. I love to see y'all's looks. And also, if you are new here, please consider subscribing if you like what you see. Oh, and one last thing, comment below if you guys would like to see one more Halloween look. I'm considering it. So we'll see. I'm trying to figure out what I should be though. So comment below if you wanna see one and also let me know what your ideas are, all right? I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.